Hello and welcome back to the Tim Foster YouTube channel. Today we are filming these two amazing cars. I have the G63 courtesy of Showroom Stockholm and this is my good friend Oscar's V12 Vantage. Oh, absolutely disrupting the party but on my Instagram I did a poll and I said while I'm filming these cars would you want a kind of like tips and tricks on how I shoot photographs for these cars and also just generally pissing about and having fun. So here we are, we are in Dusholm in uh, Stockholm. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, I'm absolutely rubbish at pronouncing <laughs> names of places. Uh, but yeah, we're just getting some photos in front of the waterfront here. Um, apparently that house there, I don't know if you can see where I'm pointing, that one is um, a member of Abba's house. There you go, fun fact of the day. Anyway, let's get to shooting these cars and uh, see what we can produce. Fun review. It's pretty good. From? Lille Bruges Bargerie. Lille Bruges Bargerie. Yeah. Well done, Lily. Hmm. Lily's done a really good job. No. I thought Lily was someone's name. Um, we've got a couple of photos in this location, so we're going to go ahead into the centre of town and try and find some other locations there. What I usually do is I usually just literally look on Apple Maps on my phone. Sorry, sorry, I know we're in the way. We're always in the way. Um, I usually just look on Apple Maps on my phone and find any roads that are near water. In Stockholm, there's loads of water and all, basically anywhere where there's water means there's good photographs to be had. So look on Apple Maps, try and find some water, some trees. That's literally what I do. And then I just drive there and see if it's any good. Might be not, might be. It's usually worth it. Onwards. As usual, very legal parking there to take photographs, but it's okay because I don't speak Swedish, so that's my excuse for everything, basically. So I have hopped in the Aston with Oscar, um, just because it's a lot cooler in here, to be honest. Not because of Oscar. No, I'm joking. <laughs> so we're heading to um, another location. We're going to go outside the Grand Hotel in Central Stockholm. Uh, there's a ton of great spots in uh, central Stockholm, so we're gonna go there, see if it's any good. The light is super bright and super harsh right now, so it's not the best conditions, especially to shoot a matte black car like we have behind me. just uh, filled up the G. It's drinking a lot of fuel, <laughs> but as you would expect from a V8 bi-turbo. Also, what is going on with my hair? It's just flicking out some, like, some sort of surf wave. Okay, welcome to central Stockholm. On a Sunday, there is like zero traffic. It's epic. We've got the G behind us still. Okay, coming into Sturoplan, where all the clubs are. Obviously now COVID time, you know clubs open because it is about 2 p.m. on a Sunday. <laughs> well, you never know, people still could be going. All the shops are shut on a Sunday. Ooh, new RS6. They like that. Very nice indeed. And a lot of American cars in Sweden, I've noticed, by the way trucks and stuff. Parking up the G. How is it? 10 happy? out of 10. 10 out of 10? Yes. That's a high score. Yeah, like so we're here in front of Grand Hotel. It's a beautiful location in central Stockholm. On the other side, if you just pan over, that is the King's Palace. It's a bit like the Buckingham Palace of Stockholm. Um, so we might film or shoot some pits over there as well. 
Um, but yeah, I just try and get the cars in front of a really nice setting. Uh, and I think this looks quite nice. So I'm just gonna, thank you, move the car back because I want a photo in front of this building here. Reason being, sorry I'm squinting a lot, it's so bright, which equally in turn is not good for photographs, but because the car is black and that building is white with green, I think the contrasting colors could be quite nice. So let's move the car back and see if it looks any different. I think these photos are looking a bit better than the other ones from the Grand Hotel. I think the black car looks better against the white building. Do you want to have a look? Can you see that? So yeah, maybe just a little bit of background as well on my cameras. I shoot all of my photographs on a Canon 5D Mark IV. I use a Sigma Art 35mm f1.4 prime lens and I use a circular polarizer on the front to cut out all glare and reflections. And my other camera, which I'm being filmed on now, is a Panasonic GH5. Uh, with Leica lenses and it has a Rode microphone. So there is a brief gear overview as well. I want this first video to kind of just be like a summary of everything that I have, everything that we do, and then we'll go into more specifics in future videos. But I want to know what you want to see as well from what I do. But yeah, let's carry on. So I thought as well, why not since we're here, we do a little walk around of the car. So the car is provided for, to us by showroom Stockholm. I do a lot of social media work for them, photography, video content. And today, as I said earlier, and you've seen lots already in this video, we're with the G63 2018 car. Uh, it's currently for sale for, I believe, 1.19 million krona. Front end, very aggressive. We've got the aluminium grille. Maybe if it was my car, I might make that black, or that might be a bit too far, I don't know. Um, we've got the 63, alloys on the front they're also on the c63 uh, 507 edition as well uh, v8 by turbo loads of carbon fiber all over uh, side tail pipes another really cool feature of this car um, although it looks quite a big car there's actually not too much room inside but the one thing it does have is a massive boot so i guess if you have pets and you want to drive your pets really really fast then this is going to be the car for you. Many dogs. Oh, and quilted leather. If you have posh dogs, it's a great car for posh dogs. Interior is got our stuff all over it, but it's got quilted leather seats, heating and cooling. It's got carbon fiber all over the front uh, dashboard. Uh, it's got a three-way locking differential for all you off-road nerds out there. Um, yeah, leather door-to-door, -door. again, side, side tailpipes on this side as well. Which would you choose, Range Rover or the G63? Let me know. Okay, so we just finished filming, uh, oh, sorry, not filming. Well, we did some filming as well. I towed around the car. Uh, but yeah, photo shooting outside of Grand Hotel. Uh, it's just behind us here. We are now heading to drop the car back off at showroom. Um, so I'm going to show you a little bit around there, but I want to do like a proper tour. I'm thinking of like actually starting to do these kind of vlogs more often. Um, I think it's quite fun. Uh, and, and why not? Like I'm shooting the cars anyway. I have all my cameras with me because I'm shooting them. So I might as well just take you guys with me like this. Bit of fun, nothing serious. No, they've stopped now. But that car doesn't know what to do. Awkward. Yeah, just stay there. There we go. Okay. So yeah, heading to showroom, and uh, that's a little bit outside of Stockholm, only like 10 minutes drive. Uh, so we're gonna head there now. Uh, we're gonna drop off the G, and I'm gonna hop, 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 hop back in with Oscar. stock here uh, let's have a quick look around uh, what they have uh, before we end the video and we'll be back here as I said 
many, many times because I shoot a lot of content for these guys um, and they are awesome. So check them out, showroom stock room on Instagram and also on the internet, the World Wide Web as well. But let's have a look at their stock. Okay, so we've got the Rolls-Royce Wraith up here right now. We've got the SLR McLaren, Mercedes 720 and the insane Ford GT. The stock that these guys get is absolutely unreal. I mean, you rarely see these anywhere, but to see one of these here in Stockholm is awesome. We've got a white SLS here. We've got a BAC Mono, some Porsches over the back, GT3 RS with a JCR exhaust on it. Absolutely sounds insane. Picture wall here, two Hurricanes, loads of Porsches. These guys sell loads of Porsches here in Stockholm and throughout Europe as well. GTR is also really popular over here in Europe. Something that I guess is a big crew of these in the UK as well. I don't really know what I'm saying. Loads of them. There's a bit of a British corner in the back here as well. We've got some Aston Martins. Wow, that's bright. That's quite, whoa, whoa, wrong way. So we've got some Aston Martins, some Bentleys, new Continental um, W12. Oi, 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 as they say here in Sweden. Awesome car, awesome spec. I need to shoot that for sure. Some Ferraris here. 458 Spider, just like TG's. Really good car, good investment as well. They are not going down in value anytime soon. Is this 718 Spider? Someone correct me. It's going to say on here. It is a 718 Spider. I got it right. These look awesome. Super, super cool. Some insane stuff. Always loads of McLarens as well, which I like to see. Over here in the corner, we've got some Brabus stock. There's the 4x4 squared behind these tires. I absolutely love that car. Definitely one of my favorites. I would love to own one of those in the future. Lusso, S-Class. Okay, well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, uh, shooting the G63 and also some fun along the way as well. I say comment what you want to see next. Do you want to see some more fun? Do you want to see some more specific photo tips? Do you want to see some specific cars from what you've seen today? Let me know in the comments below. But anyway, have a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.